What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we are finally back on the free-to-play series. Uh, we're able to do a couple things actually, I guarantee you I can do this little upgrade right here, bam, we can get this done here, which might give us the, uh, mm -hmm. it might give us the progress we need, hold on, let's wait and see. I don't know if we need to get to uh, stage 10, or if it was only 8? If it was 15-8, we're fine. And maybe it's 15-9. I don't remember. Is it 15-9? Oh, no. It might have been. Is it? Oh, it is. So we're very close to be able to do a lot of progress here. We're about to get this one done here, which then unlocks 39, 40, and then we're up to 41, where we technically need another 7-star tavern quest, which we might use gems for because, well... We do need that second one here. We finished a lot of stuff this month so far. Fighters competition is done. Really, it's just that tavern quest, and it does line up that we kind of do need to do that potentially this week. Some of the other things are going to take a little bit longer to do, uh, but then we're basically done with everything once we get past chapter 16-10. And then it's AFKing for quite a while. The growth packs here, uh, not a fan of this one. Eh, I mean, the gear's not really all that worth it. Honestly, getting her upgraded gear at this point is probably going to be one of the best upgrades we can do. We'll keep that in mind. However, I have done a laborious situation trying to get rid of every four-star in my bag efficiently, and we freed up 52 bag space. You know what time it is? Finally, Fours of Transcendence. Yes, we need to finally jump on this train and get a potentially... Huge power boost. So right there, bam, we have some a scene that you never see is these portals. It's because normally, normally they're full up. Um, might buy one core today. However, we're going to get more cores from this event. Uh, so we're going to do two things. We're going to be going for carry over here as a tenant. And we're going to go for ticks over here as a tenant. Because we're going to have to build both of these heroes uh, eventually to be tenants for our Eloise. So I think these are good ones to pick for. And honestly, the way you should be doing this is just going guidance. We are on this account. Uh, I don't think we are ever going to go for fate. Fate is just way too much RNG. Uh, guidance is guaranteed every 15, we get one transcending sphere and we're gonna be boring that way. So now the high roll is, do we get any of the hero copies? Uh, and not do we get any spheres because we know when we're going to get the spheres right over here. Yeah, we know we get the spheres. It's going to be the hero copies that are the high roll. And so far, this is not a high roll. <laughs> this is a low roll to say the least. Uh, now, part of this also is where we, we waited for this week instead of doing it sooner for two reasons. Uh, the first reason being we kind of needed the bag space, so we finally worked that out. Number two is, yeah, we do get a lot of stuff here as well. I, I almost forgot about this. We get a lot of extra cores right here. And we, of course, get more five-star heroes. Uh, but this is going to finish out pretty much all of the Heroic Miracle easily for us. If we don't hit any more light-star heroes, we can pull them out of the bag and save the rest for future things. So, yeah, we get all those resources. We need to do more of them. Uh, the big issue I was running into is we have tons of six-star puppets in all these factions, but we didn't have 10 starable heroes. And as you guys know, we need 10 star heroes to progress our hero even further. So our main focus is hopefully high rolling 10 starable heroes. This situation's not looking too hot, but what, like I said, we can grab some of our food out right now and we can start building them up to a higher tier. Uh, and make sure things are getting ready for what we need, which is food. So we're probably going to be going for a Dominator here either way. Use a lot of these food heroes to awaken him. We can use the puppets. And this is also going to clear out the bag space for us too, which is nice to see. Got a third one down there. We got one of those puppets. And then we'll be able to take him up to here because we do have the one copy. Sadly, we didn't hit a single Dominator copy there. Kind of feels bad. Put some bag bows in. Okay, so we have a nine star built there. Uh, I think we're just going to build a nine star here as well is most likely the idea. We're going to have to build a 10 star somewhere though. I don't really have any puppets here. Man, I was really hoping we we're going to hit a bunch of like good heroes. I mean, we got like heart watchers, but like we really did a big whiff here. Holy cow, we didn't even hit a single ticks copy or carry copy in all of those summons so far. 
uh we freed up a lot less bag space than i was expecting uh, feels really really bad either way we are gonna turn these into food oh no <laughs> that's not good um i don't even know if we can do that then right now we are so limited on resources right now like this is the only purchase we can technically do, and I don't even think that's enough to level you up, is it? We can't even build the food up right now because we can't get their levels up. Oh no, this is a this is this is bad. This is where we might have to act like consider expanding our bag slots now. Uh the first bad thing is we didn't hit like any dominators. I was hoping we'd at least hit like one of them. That we could potentially work towards a 10 star hero but we got a lot of food heroes out of these summonings and that is not what i was expecting uh we're not doing any profit orbs so like we're not gonna be doing any branch swaps granted we i guess we could do some we need to do what 20 more by the end but that's that only gives us like two more swaps <laughs> is kind of sketchy oh i forgot we have stuff like um, 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 um that's not many that's only eight right there man this is uh, a little disheartening because i thought we would not have bag issues but the fact that i can't even level my heroes up is one of the biggest issues granted i grabbed the loot i already grabbed all that loot right yeah well we might have to just wait to rest because uh we can do one more 10 summon here Secondly, we got about 30 more to do. Yeesh. I was uh I was expecting to hit some more actual true heroes that we would need, but so many of these are food heroes. My goodness, does that feel bad? We we keep getting more of these, which is nice. So we still have another 20 to go. Uh the nice thing is we can grab all four of these out. That's another million stellar shards. However, we technically can't do anything with them yet. Really cannot do anything with them yet. We can't even level up. Oh god, we can't even level up this ticks. <laughs> I never thought resources would be this much of a like a stranglehold. And I don't. I think we bought everything in the past. Yeah, we bought the big ones like this. So, um, yeah, we're just we're gonna have to sit and wait and see what else we can find because gold is tight right now. Everything's kind of tight right now. Except for gems. Gems, we actually do have a little bit of a surplus right now, but I even like sent the rest overs over here. My goodness, this is uh it's a bit disheartening. We're not gonna be doing really anything else this week, so it's really down to these. We do have 20 more to go, which does mean we're gonna get what? How many more? Only one more here for now. But again, we have all these stellar shards. We literally could go up to here, but we can't build the 10 stars right now. Why? Because we don't have the 10 starable heroes currently in our bag. We need two dominators here. We need like three of any one of these heroes, which is just insane. I mean, is it worth doing profit orbs and not getting sublimation chests this early on just to try to hit the hero copies you need? Like the heart watchers, we probably want to lock down as well. And now they're just taking up bag space, so... I don't know. I mean, I'm I'm cool doing this. I'm cool doing this a couple times. Going up to 110 is not a bad idea. It does let us to do this, and then maybe maybe somehow we get lucky. We still get to hit a carry either, which is kind of crazy. Uh, we did hit a dominator. That's good. And then we can do maybe one more. But again, we're still getting cores from the here. Man, if only we had one more dominator. That would be a lot more so if so much food here so much food so many puppets so few heroes to actually use as fodder all right we're gonna do one more here we, we did spend a, a little bit of gems to get this done but i wanted to get all of these summons done today we'll, we'll do the big grouping and then we'll save up some more for another session there it is we did manage to get a Holmes Young, but uh, nothing else looks very premium here outside of this. And I think that might have finished. Yep, that did finish out our Heroic Miracle. We did get to use them all up, and we got one more here. So, yeah, we have a lot of resources, not the heroes to actually level them up. So, 
struggle of free to play early game these days we got all these resources and not enough food surprisingly hopefully you guys enjoy this one let me know how your free to play is going you guys next time